Welcome friends. In today's Photoshop tutorial, we're going to learn how to create an image that looks like this, where one image is nested or masked into another. So let's get started. I'm going to work with a couple different files here. The first one is my Spirit Halloween JPEG. And then the second one is a photo of the newly anointed King Charles III. So I'm going to go down and instead of opening it, I'm going to go to File, Find Place Embedded, and then look for my image that I would like to nest or mask inside of the other one and click Place. Now, you'll notice it's placed right on top of my original Spirit Halloween image. If you look at the Layers panel in the lower right, you'll see the Prince Charles image is stacked on top. I'm going to drag this below, but first I need to click on the background layer lock and unlock it. And then I'm going to click and drag the Prince Charles layer below like that. So it's temporarily hidden. Now what we need to do is make a selection on our image where we'd like to have the Prince Charles image show through. Photoshop has many different selection tools. The one I'm going to work with today is the object selection tool. Depending on your image, you may choose a different one. So I'm just gonna start painting in here. And because this is a uniform white color, it finds what I need very quickly and has made the selection. Now, I'm going to click back on the top layer, layer zero, and I'm looking at the bottom menu bar below my layers for the layer mask button. It looks like a rectangle with a circle in the middle, and I will click it. Right away, you'll see something has gone terribly wrong. It's inverted. We want to flip this, but it's all good. Double click on the layer mask icon. I'm going to do that again. I've looked at my top layer and it's the icon with the black and white shapes. Double click on it and you may have to scroll down to find the invert button. Click it and click OK. So now you can see it has inverted our mask and all I need to do at this point is to Click on the Move tool in the top left corner and move what's inside of the mask to where I'd like it. You can fully manipulate what's inside of the mask at this point. You can use the Rotate tool. You can resize. So you get a lot of options. Masking is incredibly powerful and useful in Photoshop, and I hope this introduction has helped you. Now I look forward to you going out and making your own. Thanks for watching.